Prusa Minis are great little printers, but like all printers, parts eventually wear out. In my case, the nozzle is starting to wear after around 8 months of pretty consistent use, as a printer for my Etsy shop. Granted, I really only use PLA, so it's not very abrasive. So for those that haven't replaced a nozzle before, here's how. Though I should also mention that for those that like articles, Prusa has a great one. Anyways, first unload the filament that you have loaded, then preheat the nozzle to upwards of around 270 degrees, though you could probably get away with a lower temperature if you've really only used PLA or other lower temperature materials. Really, you just need the material to melt so that it's not rock solid when taking off the nozzle. Then move the Z-axis upwards so that you have easy access to the nozzle, Then get some tools, ideally a 16mm spanner, because it is definitely easier, especially if the nozzle is on pretty tight. An adjustable wrench is also doable, but still more difficult. I'd also recommend a pair of pliers to hold the heater block because, yeah, otherwise it is easier to move the heater block than is ideal. Aside from that, hold the heater block and use the spanner if you have one, and start unscrewing and screwing leftwards. If you get the thermal runaway air, it's likely not a huge deal and just happened because the wrench, pliers, or other tool that you are using transferred the heat away from the heater block too quickly, causing the air. By the way, here is what the air sounds like. Yep, definitely pretty annoying. Though in this case, all you need to do is just reset the printer and heat it back up, and continue unscrewing the nozzle. In the case of some other issue, like a wire coming off, or just something going wrong with the wires, you'll likely need to order some new parts. Which, yeah, kinda sucks. But assuming you got the nozzle off, now you can just replace it with a new one, using the same process except tightening it rightward instead of loosening it by spinning leftward. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. At least that's how I remember it. Once on, make sure that it is pretty tight and with only a teeny gap of around 0.5 millimeters. You don't really want it any bigger than that because it may produce filament leaking onto the heater block. And then also cause issues printing. Well, with that all covered, you can redo the first layer calibration test and then start printing to see if everything is all good. In this case, we are all good. And now you know how to replace the nozzle on a Prusa Mini. It's definitely not the worst, but it's not necessarily fun. Well, thanks for watching and bye!